Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Sylvie. I'm finally doing a full face of Patrick Town makeup. Since he launched the brand new Patrick Town Major Skin Hydro Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation, I thought what better thing to do than to bring you guys a full face of Patrick Town makeup. Let's hang out and do some makeup and show you my most favorite makeup products of all time. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when my next videos go up and give this video a thumbs up it massively helps my channel so i just have my eyelids prepped with concealer and to have a little bit of brows done i am gonna go in with the patrick ta brow product but i've just filled them in with a bit of shadow so we're gonna start right off with the new patrick ta major skin luminous skin perfecting foundation this is in the shade 15 golden neutral I'm going in with a fresh clean brush from 6 plus my skin looks pretty glowy from the lights but i really haven't used much to prep just a light moisturizer this, this is supposed to be pretty luminous if you guys haven't already seen it you should go check out my full review of this foundation 15 golden neutral is a pretty good shade match for me for summertime one thing that i love about this foundation that it's actually really impressive to me when any foundation can do this because in my experience not a lot of foundations blend seamlessly with a brush without leaving brush marks here is the foundation with just one layer i do prefer to wear this as just one layer because i find that the more you build it up the more it can start to look a little bit makeup-y and you can definitely see how glowy this foundation is if you have oily or combo skin i would probably not even use a moisturizer like i've used this without a moisturizer and it was fine for me but if you have oily skin you could go in with no moisturizer and use a mattifying primer but you can see how smooth that looks just with the foundation brush now i'm gonna go ahead and blend this over with my sponge anyway because i'm a creature of habit and i just can't not do it so the reason why i do this anyway is because i love pushing the product into the skin so it's not just sitting on the skin this literally gives you like supermodel skin so there's the full face done it definitely looks very very glowy and luminous especially in my studio lights but if i step back you can see a little bit more accurately how the glow is as how i'm seeing it in my mirror patrick doesn't have a concealer out yet but i'm sure that's going to be in the works or is already in the works just to balance out this luminosity today i'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites which is the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and this is in the shade amber so i always like to take my concealer on a concealer brush instead of just putting it on my face and this is just the elf flawless flawless concealer brush and i'll take a little bit off the wand and start just pressing that on Next, I'm going in with literally my favorite bronzer and cream contour in the whole world. It's his contour and bronzer duo in the shade She's Bronzed. I'm just gonna stamp that on. And I love this shade usually when I'm not tan. Now that I'm tan, it doesn't show up too well. I still love the shade, but it's more like a natural contour and bronzer. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I guess we'll see how it shows up on camera since I can't see anything that's going on. I do think that there's a gap between the shade and his next shade up. I feel like he could have maybe added one more shade from this one. It jumps from this, which is a medium shade, to basically a deep shade. And I definitely think he could use like a medium dark. And I absolutely love how this one just blends so seamlessly like butter. Let's see if I can get this nose contour. I love using the cream bronzer just to carve out the shape of the eyes here and this is definitely something that I've seen Patrick do as well and a lot of other makeup artists if you guys want to intensify your eye makeup look and add depth to it this is definitely how you're gonna build up that dimension so now that that cream contour is on I'm just gonna take the foundation brush that I used with no additional product and go over the edges of the cream bronzer just to melt everything in better the next part is always my favorite part of doing makeup it is blush i have two options the first one i have is not too much which is one of the recent ones that he came out with it's a really soft beigey pink almost and then the other one is none other than she's blushing this has got to be my favorite in the whole wide world i would love to use the not too much because it's new 
but I am more tan right now and it's a, it's a little bit too light for my skin tone at the moment so I'm gonna go in with She's Blushing. I'm going in with the cream first. This one is pretty pigmented so I have to start off with a light hand but it is just the most stunning beigey rosy pink that's not too pink or too warm it's just really perfect and neutral this is probably what i feel like is the best blush for medium brown and olive skin tones because it's so well balanced it's just perfectly pigmented honestly just makes your skin pop and makes you glow i use this on so many clients that have medium skin tones i would say pretty much all of them still pretty light right now i think i'm gonna build it up just a little bit more because why not it is such a stunning cream blush but it's definitely all looking really really luminous and shiny so we're gonna start going ahead and using all the powder products and setting down with powder so i am first gonna go in with the powder bronzer this is such a perfect bronze shade for medium brown skin tones too because again, it's not too warm and not too cool. It just gives you like the most perfect olive bronze almost. This is also one that I use on pretty much all my medium skin tone clients. And yes, I do sanitize all these products that are in my kit if I use it on myself. And I use the creams depotted off of my hand. I'm gonna start to set in all those other contour areas. Powder blends so easily. It honestly just glides over the makeup. I love this about all his powder products. They just glide and blend themselves essentially. Next, I'm going to start setting the face. I am going in with my trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just taking that on a powder puff and I'm going to slowly start setting those central hot spots. I have very dry skin, but I'm definitely packing on. The powder in these areas just because the foundation is pretty luminous and i also like to bake these areas a little bit to make sure that they don't move so i'm gonna just cut the jawline jawline i don't know yeah just the jaw area a little bit so there is the powder on i do have a little bit of excess powder just in the center parts of my face so while that is on and baking just for a minute or two while i apply my entire blush and I wasn't even recording, but anyway, isn't that the most insane, beautiful blush shade? I love that it really sets down your cream, but it's not completely matte. It's also not glowy. It's like satin. It gives you this smooth filtered look, but it still has a slight sheen to it. And it's not just because of the luminous foundation. Every single time I wear it, it just makes the skin look so good. I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush now and dust off any of that excess powder in the center of my face and in the jaw area look at how amazingly this complexion is coming together all of his products just work so seamlessly together so i'm just gonna go in with that foundation brush again and same thing blend in the edges look at that freaking skin and i'm not even done yet last but not least for the complexion we can't forget his new highlighter duos. This is in the shade Daddy. I also have a review up on this highlighter duo, so go ahead and catch it if you haven't already. But just a quick rundown on this. This powder is supposed to be like the most refined candlelit glow, and the cream portion gives you the most out of this world, juicy, dewy glow. Here is the powder. It's just very subtle and refined. Here is the cream. I'm normally a satin skin girly, so because I already have luminosity going on on my face, I'm gonna go in with just the powder portion of this highlighter. Oh my gosh, well, so there's already glow going on, but I'm just gonna pop this over. It's just like the most stunning rose gold shift. It's beautifully filtered. You can't even tell that there's like chunky highlighter going on. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna go in with his laminating brow gel. This one's actually pretty good. I didn't like it a lot at first, but once I figured out how to use it, it just gave me really foolproof brows that just stayed on all day. So you gotta like work that through the brows first and it does set pretty quickly. So I'm gonna use that laminating side and just begin to 
slick that on. Boom, that's basically not gonna budge all day. Now we're gonna move on to eyes. Going in with no other than his major dimension eyeshadow palette, the original one. Isn't it freaking stunning? This is the only bronzy eyeshadow palette a brown girl needs. I'm gonna start off with this orangey shade right here and just use this as a soft transition shade. Forgot to mention, he's also got these creams here that are actually really, really good. They're great for building up a bronzy eye as a base that's gonna make your eyeshadow look more dimensional and last longer. And then I'm gonna mix these two like burgundy and deep brown shades and just softly smoke out the lash line starting at the outer corner. I don't want too much, like that's all I'm happy with. And then take it down the bottom as well. I'm gonna take that deep brown on an angle brush, just further define that lash line. And then I'm gonna take this like shimmery bronzy shade. This is my favorite. And I'm gonna tap that on all over the lid. Seriously, just look at that sparkle and shimmer. I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown. So hard to talk while you're doing a liner. And then the last step that I never skip is to just take whatever blush I used on the face. And this is also something that I learned from Patrick and just run it over the crease. And it just ties in the entire look together so seamlessly. I feel like every single time I do an eye makeup with this palette, it just looks so flawless and good and like, like really high end. I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara off camera. I don't have the Patrick Ta mascara, so I'm just gonna use my trusty combo, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise with the Essence Lash Without Limits on top. So here's how everything's looking like so far. I have gone ahead and powdered down the center of my face again, and I usually have to do this with most foundations that I use. For lips, I have one Patrick Ta product. It is his Monochrome Moments Silky Lip Creme in the shade She's Independent. I'm gonna fill my lips with the e.l.f. lip liner in the shade Mauve Side. I really want to get his lip liners and some of his new lip creme and lipstick shades that he's released, especially the shade Blushing. I think that would be perfectly complementary with this look and this blush. And then I always contour with a dark brown lip liner. I'm gonna go in with the sheerest amount of the shade in the center because this is like not my summer shades, it's pretty light. So this is what the lip color looks like. It is the prettiest nude beige and it still looks really good once you've like used lip liner and contour your lip and added definition for this color. What I love about this formula is that it looks not dry. It feels really comfortable and creamy on the lips, but it lasts all day. I don't know how he does it, but yeah, it lasts forever. You guys are gonna hate me, but I always have to do this with my makeup. I take whatever blush that I used on my face and I just tap it onto the lips. I truly love a look that looks cohesive. So that just tied all the colors in together. I don't know what it's looking like on camera, but I'm looking at the mirror and my makeup is just flawless, especially with his blush and his eyeshadow palette. My makeup always feels so expensive and elevated. And I know that he uses these words all the time and they're so overused, but that's, Literally, I don't know any other words to express how I feel about how this makeup looks. I think everything looks stunning. The foundation is beautiful. I've been wearing the foundation nearly every single day for the past like week, week and a half since I received it. I love how healthy and plump it makes my skin look. This foundation is now in my top three. It is my third favorite foundation after Armani Luminous Silk and House Labs. Sorry, so I just had to go ahead and remove those hair clips and give you a full proper look, but I feel so red carpet glam right now. This is a makeup look that I would absolutely wear on a wedding day. I just always feel so good in Patrick's makeup and I've learned so much from this guy and I am die hard for his products. I have yet to try something 
that I don't love completely. There's still a lot of stuff he has that I have yet to try out, so we'll see. But so far, I've been nothing but pleased. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me here and watching all this beautiful makeup go on. Let me know if you have tried his new foundation yet or if you're gonna go get it. If you have, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great week and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.